be attentive. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, him whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness is not unto death, for it is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by means of it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were not seeking to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. Thus he spoke, and then he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I will go to awake him out of sleep. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus has spoken of his death, but they thought he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. And for your sake I am glad that I was not there so that you may believe, but let us go to him. Thomas, called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been put in the tomb for four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them, considering their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary sat in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he'll rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I will resurrect him I, will, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying quietly, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when he heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not come into the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary rise quickly and go, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to weep there. Then Mary, when she came where Jesus was and saw him, fell to his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. And he said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept, so the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could he ha who opened the eyes of the blind have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was in a cave and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there is an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this on account of the people standing by that they might believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, 
his hands and feet bound with bandages, his face wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and ha had seen what he did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered a council and said, What are we to do of this man who performs great signs? If we let this go on like this, everyone will be with him, believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both us and our holy nation. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to you. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, today is a very long gospel, so I will keep the sermon very short. In today's gospel, we hear of Jesus raising Lazarus, who was dead for four whole days. And we hear that when Jesus talks to his sisters, they believe in Jesus, but they don't believe that Jesus is going to help them today. When he says to Martha, you know I can raise the dead, she says, yes, someday, but my brother is dead now. She believes in Jesus, but she doesn't believe Jesus is going to help her. You know, there is this story of a man who is reading the Bible to his son, and he had a whole older son sitting beside him. And he says, and Jesus took five loaves, and he multiplied it, and he fed 40 people. And the older son goes, no, no, dad, it was 4,000. Shh, he might believe 40. And sometimes we too believe in Jesus, but have certain doubt that Jesus will help us in our everyday life. Today's gospel reminds us never to have doubt. Nothing is impossible to God and to have faith that he can help us today if we pray and believe in Him. Слава Ісусу Христу! Перепрошую, сьогоднішнє Евангеліє дуже довге, тому проповідь буде коротка. Сьогоднішній проповідь ми чуємо, як Ісус воскрешає мертвого Лазаря. І ми чуємо, коли Ісус приходить, двоє сестри вірять в Ісуса, але сумніваються, що Він поможе зараз і в цей день. Коли Ісус каже Марті, що ти знаєш, що я Воскресіння, вона каже, так, колись буде Воскресіння, і ви його принесете. Але мій брат зараз мертвий. І сумнівається, що Ісус Воскресе його вже. Знаєте, це мені нагадує одну історію про батька, який читає святе письмо свій, своєму синові. І старший син сидить близько. І він читає і каже, Ісус взяв п'ять кусків хліба, розломив, розмножив і нагодував Сорок народу. А старший син чується, каже, ні-ні, тато, тут чотири тисячі були. Каже, ш, якщо я кажу, тільки сорок, може він повірить. І деколи ми теж маємо той сумнів, ми віримо в Ісуса, ми віримо в Бога, але ми сумніваємося, що Він сьогодні і зараз може нам допомогти. Сьогоднішня Євангелія нагадує нам, що нема жодного чуда Боже силою Господньою. Нема нічого неможливого для Господа, якщо ми лише повіримо і йому довіримося. Все для Бога є можливе. Слава Ісусу Христу!